Hi, this is Adam Wood. Tonight I'm going to show you how to change the bearings on a Daiwa Tatula Type R. This is brought to you by Boca Bearings. You're going to need some precision screwdrivers, adjustable wrench to take off your handle, oil of your choice, I prefer Boca Lightning Lube, your bearing kit, and of course your reel. So, first things first, get out a flathead screwdriver. Move your handle nut after you take out the screw. Retainer pops off, set that aside. Right is normally tight, but on this, right is loosen. Loosen your nut. Set that aside, take your handle off. Same with the drag. Spin it to the right, everything comes loose. Have your schematic with you so that way if you get confused you can take a look at it to put everything back together. Cell phone comes in handy. <clears throat> you have your clicker for your drag, just pull it off in one piece, set it down. Take your cast control knob off, set it aside. This side here, loosen up your screw there. Take your side plate off, take your spool out, I put some electrical tape around it to keep the line from peeling off. Your first bearing, right there in your side plate, held in by a little retainer. Get a small flat head, put your thumb on one side of the retainer. Take the screwdriver and just pop it up. And slide it out with your finger. Be careful because they can fly away. Take that, set it aside. Get your bearings out. I have this little metal tool with a little thing on the end. Stick it in under the bearing. Bearing removed. Get your new bearing. I already have the shields off. Pop it down in. Take your retainer. Get it started in one side. Put your thumb over it. Just pop it back in place. It's one bearing already done. Screw there, short. Screw in the middle is longer. Screw there, short. When you go to put it back together, two shorter ones are on the end, the longer ones in the middle. And there's nothing under here that's going to fly out whenever you pull the side plate off. Put your screws aside, now you're ready for the other bearing. Lift straight up on your side plate, set the main frame of the reel off. Your other bearing is right there, held in by a retainer. Same thing, put your thumb over it, pop it up out of its groove, take that out, set it down. Bearings right there, just Push on it from the cast control knob side, you have your bearing out. Take your bearing, just push it down in, get your retainer, get it seated in there with your thumb, and seat it back in. So, 
got two out of the three bearings done. This part looks like it's kind of scary, but it's real simple. Pull off your collar and your whole main gear and drag stack. Just kind of give it a little wiggle, it'll pop off. And you have two yoke springs, a pinion. Pull the springs off, lift up on the pinion gear. Take your last clutch off. Two little screws. You can take one the whole way out and the other one three quarters of the way out. You want a number one screwdriver for these Phillips head. Move this little metal piece, the bearings right there. Just press on it from this side. Pops right out. Get your new bearing. Set it down in there. This piece. You'll notice there's a little flat side on it. The other side's perfectly rounded. The flat side goes towards the thumb bar on the reel. So, set that back down in. Get the screw started down just to snug it in place. Get your next screw ready. Barely snug those two down. Take your aluminum gear, slide it down over, match it up, just pop it down on. Take your pinion gear and your yoke, reassemble them. This only goes on one way. The one side has some little indentations on the bottom, that side goes down. Take your drag stack, your main gear, slide that back over. Should get all that seated back down on there properly. Take your collar, slide it down on with the two tabs facing down. Your yoke springs, set them down on. 
and you're ready to reinstall your side plate. Remember the longer screw goes in the middle. Smoke that one down. Put your two smaller ones in there. Cast control knob, screw that back on. Your clicker for your drag stack, slide that on. Remember, star drag, it's not right tight anymore, it's left to the tight net. Sometimes you gotta put a little pressure on the, uh, the worm drive. Once you get that on, metal spacer, slide that down over, your handle, your nut, Take your retainer, lined up with the screw hole. Snug that down. Search your spool, side plate. And then you have it. This part's kind of tricky. Flows much better, spins a whole lot better. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Boca Bearings.